Hi guys, in this video I'm decanting a can of white primer. Um, if you've been watching the Tamiya Mimota Tezi build, you'll notice that uh, I had problems with the remainder of the grey primer, which I'd had sitting there for a while, and I went to get some more primer and actually ended up with a can of white, uh, hence the can of white primer. Now, you'll note also that I'm decanting this in a method that's different to my last video, and the reason for this is uh, I'm decanting it in this manner to try something different out. Now, the can is upside down rather than right way up, and um, you'll notice after piercing it, I actually do get some paint running out, um, which I attribute to the fact that I didn't really leave it sitting long enough to settle, uh, and also might be something to do with um, with it being upside down. I'm not entirely sure because I typically decant them right way up. Now, the reason I'm doing this upside down is on my last video, somebody commented with uh, a question saying, why don't you do this upside down, put the hole in, um, in the bottom, and then once it's degassed, open it with a can opener. And I thought that could be a very useful suggestion. That's, uh, so that's the next time I do one, I'm going to try that and see how it goes. So having thoroughly degassed the can, I take my can opener, as you can see here, and begin to attack the aerosol can um, with a side-on um, method, which seems to give the best fit of the can opener. However, you can see very quickly that, um, that while it actually seems to puncture under the bottom rim of the can, it's not actually driving itself around as it would with a can of soup or beans or, or whatever you would normally open with a tin can. And you can see here that, uh, that I'm working uh, and taking it off and replacing it in, in a slightly different position and just trying various bits and pieces to see if I can get that to work its way around uh, with little joy. What I then do is try fitting it onto the top as you would do with a can of beans, for example, and see if it will open uh, from the top. Unfortunately, this is even less successful, barely making any kind of dent at all than, uh, than trying it at the side. And ultimately, what I did was resorted to my old tried and tested method which was to use a pair of snips to cut the can open, which does, of course, leave jagged edges. But if you do this properly and you cut the base off the can or you cut the top off the can or whichever way you do it, and you remove that and you make sure you keep your hands away from that edge because there's no, no need to have your hands anywhere near that edge, make sure you keep them well away from there and it's as safe as pretty much it can be. I just wanted to show this extra little piece, which uh, is after I've used the snips to cut the base of the can, despite having been left for a good while with the hole punctured in it, and then having the top cut off completely to allow me to decant it into a jar or a bottle. Um, but you can see that's still bubbling away quite vigorously, and this is the reason why, after you've decanted it into your chosen jar, you do not cap it tightly. This is why you have to leave the cap on loose and allow it to degas for a good few hours. And even then, uh, once you've capped it tightly, is maybe just loosen the cap off once a day and just uh, for, a, for the next couple of days, just to make sure it's gassed out completely. Um, when you're going to use it, give it a really good thorough shake in the jar or bottle, uh, having decanted the little marble that comes in the can as well to make sure it's thoroughly mixed and then open the cap slowly because it will still contain little bits of gas for a good while. So thank you for watching, I hope this video was useful.